Hi, my name is George Lukic and I am a software engineer working in the runtime team at Docker. Uh, the runtime team is responsible for the Docker CLI, the Docker daemon, uh, and also we maintain uh, all the release pipelines for our, our Linux packages. And today I am really excited to show you all the work uh, we've done um, on migrating Docker's image management to Containerd. Uh, what I'm showing you today is available uh, as an experimental feature in Docker Desktop 4.12 and it will also be uh, coming to Linux uh, still behind the feature flag uh, sometime in uh, 2023. Uh, in this talk, we will go through some uh, history of Docker and also its relationship with Containerd. Uh, after that, uh, we will go a bit more into detail about what we're changing inside Dockerd. Uh, and lastly, we will see what motivated us to start this migration. And of course, we'll finish uh, everything with some demos. I will be showing you uh, the native uh, multi-platform uh, image management capabilities of uh, Docker Desktop. Um, but before, before we continue, let's see a bit what's Containerd. So um, Containerd is an open container runtime, uh, and it can manage the complete uh, container lifecycle. Uh, it's the today it's the most wide, widely used container runtime uh, and it's designed uh, to be embedded uh, inside developer tooling like docker or production environments uh, like uh, kubernetes that i, I guess uh, some of you know um, so the containerd uh, project was uh, started by docker in 2016 and the the move uh, to containerd supervision uh, and, and the, I'm sorry. And so in that same year, uh, the Docker daemon switched to container D as its uh, runtime. Uh, the year after in 2017, uh, Docker donated uh, container D to CNCF, uh, which then graduated uh, uh, in 2019. And so this year and sometimes next year, Docker will be switching to container D for uh, storing and managing images. Uh, so before we go into like all of the technical details and demos, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why are we doing this? Why are we doing all this migration? Uh, and actually this uh, migration um, helps us, the maintainers, and also our users. Um, the move to container D uh, means uh, we have less code to maintain. So we'll be in a position where uh, we can increase uh, our release cadence. Uh, so to put more simply, uh, we'll be able to release more features, more features, more quickly. And incidentally, also, we will be, uh, we will be working more closely with the container, the, um, maintainers and helping them also, uh, when we find, uh, bugs or, um, uh, implement some new features into container D, um, this, this migration will give us um, uh, a native multi-image uh, management support. And also we will be better aligned with the OCI, which is the uh, Open Containers Initiative. And uh, using uh, different snapshotters, people will be able also to set up some advanced, to have some advanced uh, setups, uh, for example, using the StarGZ or the NIDUS snapshotters uh, who are uh, called lazy loading uh, snapshotters, lazy pooling snapshotters. Um, in an essence, uh, when, you, when you want to run an image, uh, Docker downloads the whole image and then runs it. But with the help of StarGZ or NIDUS, you will be able to download only the bits of the image that you need uh, in order to run it and not the whole image. Um, so let's see a bit more into detail what, what we are doing uh, here. Um, on the left, you can see the, the current uh, high-level view of one small part uh, of the architecture of the Docker daemon. Uh, so we have the daemon and its API, and then we have our, our, our own uh, custom code for pulling and pushing images. And when you start a, a container, we have this thing uh, we call graph drivers. Uh, which are responsible for um, mounting the root file system of your container. Uh, and so finally, once you pull, you've pulled the image that the graph driver mounted the file system, we give all of that to container D so that it can start your container. 
And so on the right, uh, you can see uh, what we will have after all our work is done. So the, the, custom, the custom push and pull code uh, will be replaced with the equivalent uh, code uh, from the remotes package of containerd. Uh, instead of uh, graph drivers, we will use containerd's snapshotters. Uh, snapshotters are pretty much like graph drivers. Their, their job is to, to mount the... Con their primary, primary job is to mount a container's root file system. And also, yeah, the, the, the runtime part uh, stays the same. We're still using containers and, and, and tasks from container D to manage the lifecycle of your container. And as you can see on the left and on the right, there is the API box, uh, which is for me a way to say, even though we are making big changes uh, in, in, in the lower level parts of, of the, the daemon, uh, the API shouldn't change all of your current existing workflows uh, should still work and shouldn't change. Um, so yeah, it will, it, Docker will still be Docker pull, Docker run, Docker push. <laughs> we, we, we are not changing any, any of that. Um, so we are, we are doing this migration uh, in two main stages. Uh, so the first stage uh, is to make uh, all the existing Docker commands and flags uh, work with uh, containerd as its image store. We are we are right now in the in the middle of that stage, but we have enough features today uh, so that we can give this to you so that you can start playing with it, test it, and give us feedback. And in the in the second stage, which I think it will be much much harder, uh, hopefully not too hard, uh, we will be implementing the migration of the images uh, that you have locally. Uh, so we want to take all, your, all of your existing images and migrate them to, to our new Im image store. Uh, so this is very important for us. Uh, we will do everything we can to not to break uh, any of the existing workflows of any of our users. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, this is already available for you in the latest 4.12 version of Docker Desktop. It's behind the feature flag. Um, it's still experimental. Not everything works, but as I said, enough enough of enough of the features work so that you can start playing. Um, so the roadmap, uh, an expected roadmap, uh, is so on the September first, the release of Docker Desktop with the experimental integration. Starting from now up until the end of this year, we expect we expect to be fixing all the bugs that we find or that that you find and that you that, that you give us. Uh, and we will also uh, finish the last little bits of implementation that we that we that we didn't uh, do. Uh, and uh, sometime in sometimes next year, we are expecting to have a, a release of Docker uh, with ContainerD as a default image store. Again, so this this release we will we will be releasing this only when we are um, sure that. Uh, we, we are not breaking any any of the existing workflows. Yeah. All right, so demo, enough of me talking. Uh, let's let let's see what what this does. Uh, so I have here a Docker desktop. If I go into about, it's here. I don't know if you see because it's small, but it's uh, Docker desktop 4.12. Uh, what you need to do to, um, to start using this, you need to go in here into the preferences. And then in experimental features, and there's, there's this checkbox that says use ContainerD for pulling and, and storing images. Um, there's a link here if you want to give us feedback. Any any and all feedback is great. Uh, please please send them to us. Uh, we'll be happy to contact you and see with, with you what, if you had any issues. Uh, right. So now let's see what can we do. Um, I just want to make sure first that we are uh, using the right Docker daemon. So if we look at uh, Docker info and scroll a bit up, you can see here in the server version, there's the, this is the 2206 something beta something something. So this means that you are using the, the Docker daemon that has container D, um, that, that, that uses container D as its image store. Uh, Right, so yeah, I said we, we don't want to break any <laughs> any workflow. So let's see if if we broke something with, with this new stuff. So uh, let's run an image. I, I want to run. Okay, this is 
right this is a simple image but at least let's see if we can if we can run the simplest of images um, so if i run you can see docker uh, sees that it doesn't doesn't have the image it will pull it for you and then run so hello from docker everything works as expected um, we can even let, let's see if we can uh, run uh, containers that have networking so if i docker run um let's open the port and the nginx image again it doesn't it doesn't we we, we don't have it so we pull everything it started so if i open a new browser tab and go into lo local host 8080 welcome to nginx so our container is running and it has networking and it can respond to you uh, I don't want to to go too much in, in, in into like demo 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 details, uh, but yeah, uh, mounting volumes, uh, publishing ports, everything you use every day uh, should work. Uh, I have one last demo, and it's like I said, the native multi-platform images um, support. Uh, so I have here a simple Docker file. Uh, it's nothing that should go in, into production. Uh, it's really simple. We are using uh, Ubuntu. Uh, and when you run the container, it will echo hello. Uh, now let's see, how can we run this? How can we build this image, sorry? Uh, so we, with, with, with the container D store, we are now able to do this. We are now able to docker build x build, and then say, we want the platforms. Um, I want Linux ARM64, and I want Linux uh, AMD64. Uh, let's give it a tag, um, demo, and then the context. So if I if I now run this, this will start up um, build kit, and build kit will uh, build both images. I mean, will build the image for the two platforms. So you can see here, there's AMD 64, there's ARM 64, and if we look at Docker images, uh, we can see my image here. Uh, let's see if if it runs. <laughs> Uh, and of course it runs uh, and let's try to finally push it to hub uh, and while it's pushing let me open up so it, it pushed everything and if i go to to my hub page uh, we can see uh, we can see my demo which was pushed a few seconds ago of course and the latest tag as you can see it's really a, a multi-platform image that we that we just built and that's all I had uh, for, for the demos for you today. Um, once again, uh, if you if you test it, please do give us feedback. Um, if you have any 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 wishes, uh, you can contact us in our we are in the community Slack. Um, we are we are we always respond in the community Slack. There is a um, there is a Mobi project uh, channel. Uh, so come say hi, uh, test it please, and um, thank you, thank you all for listening, uh, bye.